Something a bit different today. This video is about tractor mugs. I've got a bit of a collection of them so I thought it might be interesting to take a look through them. My tractor mug collection began with a visit to Tractor World at Malvern, one of the big tractor shows. And there were four mugs, uh, mostly Ford to Major and a Grey Fergie, and I thought that's a nice place to start. So I bought those four mugs. A year went by and then it was time to go to the Tractor World show at the Free County Showground in Malvern again. And I bought two more mugs, a massive Ferguson 590 and a John Deere 4020. Two very nice little mugs, my wife said to me, you've probably got enough now. Another year went by and I went to the Tractor World show again at the Free County show. And I came across a Leyland 272. A case Maxim 2140 and a David Brown 1412 Silver Jubilee mug. So now I have a tractor mug collection of nine mugs and my wife said to me quite rightly it's probably time to stop. You've got enough. Twelve months went by. It was getting time to go to the classic Tractor show, tractor world at the Free County show, and my wife said to me before I went, Don't buy any more tractor mugs. Oh, I won't, I won't buy no more tractor mugs, don't worry. So then I came back with a nice um, articulated John Deere, a four wheel drive David Brown 996, and a 30 series Massey Ferguson. And these, of course, were worth having because they're a slightly different shape mug than the others, too. Twelve months went by and it was time to go to the Tractor World Classic Tractor Show at the Free County Show at Malvern again. My wife said to me before I went, don't buy any more mugs, you really do have enough now. And I said, I won't, don't worry. But as I was walking round, I came across this little stand and this guy was selling some very unique mugs. As you can see, they're a, a shape all of their own. It says on the back, Anthony Hardington, agricultural illustrator and artist, power in the pasture. Now these are actually um, from photos of actual working tractors. They are quite interesting and authentic. So I came back with a big international, a nice big case and of course a Ford FW60. What's not to like? Time went by and I hadn't bought any tractor mugs for a long time. Me and my wife both agreed that we really did have enough tractor mugs now. But we went on holiday to, and we visited the little town of Bakewell and we come across this really interesting little shop. And I spied two very nice bone china mugs, R.K. Roy Kirkham. And these are really interesting, quite nicely done mugs. So I was on holiday and I treated myself. And being as they were quite nice looking, quite new, unique, the wife didn't mind me buying them. But all of these tractor mugs, there was one thing that was missing that you can't seem to get. In fact, there's quite a few tractor mugs that you can't seem to get. You can't seem to get an international with an XL cab, which I find a bit odd because they were a, a huge success in their day. And you can't get a 90 or 94 series David Brown on case. So, I took photographs of two of my tractors, my 
1490 David Brown and my Case 1594 4-wheel drive. And I had this mug printed. And it's really nice. So there you are, that's my little tractor mug collection. A very different kind of video this week, but I think it's something we can all understand and relate to.